Hello, this is Stephen Whitfield with Drilling Contractor here at the 2022 IADC Advanced Rig Technology Conference in Austin, Texas. With me right now are Malini Minocha, um, Director of Rig Cloud at Neighbors Industries, and Alan Nandlal, Product Manager at Well Data Labs. And we're going to talk about an interesting project that these two companies engaged in on um, the use of machine learning and statistical analysis to help improve predictive capabilities for well planning and performance in drilling. So guys, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. So Melanie, I'm going to start with you here with this question. Like I said, this was a, a project between neighbors, industries, and well data labs. Could you talk a little bit about what the project was? What was the objective? So um, we wanted Rick Cloud to be um, AI and machine learning enabled. And um, WDL or World Data Labs is uh, pretty well known in its space, uh, especially in the completion space uh, for both AI and machine learning. And so we thought this was the right partnership to embark on um, as we want to um, grow our portfolio in Rick Cloud. Well, and I'll ask you this question. So this project involved the development of a machine learning model. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the methodology that you used in that development? Yeah, absolutely. So because of the scope of the project, we needed to understand rig states, which in the, the ML data science world, it's classes. So we tested different uh, multi-class algorithms. Uh, the data science team settled on the CatBoost algorithm because it provided the highest accuracy of all the various algorithms that they, they tested. So that's what we're using to determine rig states, or in other words, just classi classified data. So one thing that you mentioned uh, in the presentation you gave here at the conference today was on the importance of having the operation summary at hand and that how that could help uh, refine the predictive capabilities of the model. Could you tell us how so? Yeah, absolutely. So the operation summary in the drilling world, it's just known as a morning report. Your, your, your rig manager, your company man every morning sends that out at for 7 o'clock for the 7 a.m. morning report, right? That's in the drilling world. In the data science world, however, that is actually an SME or subject matter expert or a user who just reviewed the last 24 hours of signals or the last 24 hours of data, analyzed it, and labeled it for you. For neighbors process on their rigs, they follow the IADC code. So for each time interval that you spend in that IADC state, the company man will record it from start to end, the IADC code or the class, and then leave comments. So for us, that's very powerful because we essentially have a user who just went back and labeled that 24 hours of data for us. In the typical MLAI process, after you get your results from your model, you still need an SME or subject matter expert to review that for accuracy. That is most times done manually by a user. But because we're tied in with Recloud and we have access to that morning report in a structured format, we can now automate this process. So we have the machine learning prediction further enhanced by the user who just went in and labeled that data for us and we do this process automatically. So that's how we use the operation summary to further enhance the accuracy of the model. All right, Melanie, well, tell us some of the results that you saw from the work that you guys did. So uh, we have, in Rick Cloud, we have tons and tons of data. So uh, we are in the process of analyzing all the, uh, all different types of, uh, you know, well formations against the machine learning model at this time. Whatever we have seen so far, especially around the North uh, Dakota or the, of the Bakken, Bakken region, they are, they are looking very promising. Um, our uh, final objective is to um, collaborate with an operator so we can actually work with them, work with their drilling engineering team, and then um, you know, see how effective uh, we can actually uh, use this model. So um, you know, it will help uh, drilling engineers especially uh, reduce uh, the flat time or, uh, or you know, in collaboration with neighbors, reduce flat time, go faster, um, and those are the prim primary objectives that we are trying to achieve. Well, guys, thank you for taking the time to speak with us on this fascinating project. It'll be interesting to see what more work is done here in this space. Thanks again. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Thanks. And thank you for visiting Drilling Contractor.